Lecture 7. Academic writing. Adverb clauses in essay writing. Objectives. To study kinds of adverb clauses, to study punctuation of adverb clauses, to study time clauses, to study place clauses, to study that clauses. Plan of the lecture. Kinds of adverb clauses, punctuation of adverb clauses, time clauses, place clauses. Adverb clauses are clauses, a group of words with a subject-predicate pairing, as we have learned. They are signaled with an introductory word called a subordinating conjunction, which is usually a single word, but maybe a compound word with a, or without a space between the root words. The choice of the subordinating conjunction depends on what question the adverb clause answers. Its meaning. Some subordinating conjunctions refer to time, some refer to place, some to manner and others to conditions or situations. Because the subordinating conjunctions that begin adverb clothes share meanings with both adverbs and prepositions, and because sometimes the same word can be used in all three adverbial structures, it is easy to become confused about which word is the appropriate one for each type of structure. Native speakers of English can rely on intuition, but difficulties arise for non-native speakers, and sometimes native speakers too, in learning which words are adverbs only, which are prepositions only, and which are subordinating conjunctions only. For example, after can be both a preposition and a subordinating conjunction, but is not standard when used as an adverb. Look at the examples, for example. What are you doing after the game? After is a preposition. What are you doing after you graduate? After is a subordinating conjunction. What are you doing after? After is used as an adverb. The verb because, on the other hand, is only a subordinating conjunction. We must use because of as a preposition, not the word because alone. And it is not standard to use because as an adverb. Again, study the examples. I took an umbrella because of the rain. Because of is a preposition. I took an umbrella because it was raining. Because is a subordinating conjunction. I took an umbrella because. Because is structured as an adverb. So let's talk about adverb clause of time. Adverb clause is of time tell us about when something happens. We can use conjunctions like when, whenever, before, after, as, until, as soon as, and since. After, so I uh, speak about adverb clause of place. So uh, such adverb clauses of place as where, wherever, and everywhere. Note that clauses beginning with whenever, wherever, and everywhere show that something always happens in a place or at a certain time. So, if we talk about adverb clause of condition. So, uh, adverb clauses of condition tell us about the circumstances and under which something happens. These clauses often begin with if, unless, or provided that. So, and adverb clause of manner. And the clause of manner show us how something happens. They usually begin with like, as though, or as if. An adverb clause is a group of words that function is an adverb in a sentence. Adverb clauses can be used to add explanatory detail to your writing and explain how or why things happen. To identify adverb clauses, you'll need to understand what an adverb does as well as how a clause is formed. What is an adverb? An adverb is a part of speech that describes an adjective, another adverb or a verb. Adverbs give more information about how an action was performed. In general, they answer questions like how, why, where, and when. An adverb does this with just one word, but groups of words can also perform this function in sentence. For example, she walked slowly. 
She walked like an old lady. She walked as if she were heading to the gallows. In each of these sentences, the italicized word of words answered the question how and described the verb walked. In the first sentence, there is only one adverb, but in the other two sentences, a group of words work together to act as an adverb. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words that contain both a subject and a verb. This differs from a phrase which doesn't have a subject and a verb. For example, let's revisit our examples of words being used together as adverbs. Each of these groups of words has a subject and a verb, but do not form a complete sentence of their own. They are dependent on an independent clause for meaning. What is adverb clause? Adverb clauses, also known as adverbial clauses, are dependent clauses that function as adverbs. Since they are dependent clauses, they must have a subordinating conjunction to connect them to the rest of the sentence. Being able to spot a subordinating conjunction will help you recognize an adverb clause. Below are some examples which were grouped by what type of adverb question they answer. When, after, when, until, soon, before, once, while, as soon as, whenever, by the time. How? If, whether or not, provided, in case, unless, even if, in the event. Why? Because, as, since, so, in order that, now that, in as much as, where, wherever, where. Adverb clauses can be placed at the beginning, middle, or end of a sentence. When placed at the beginning or in the middle, they require a comma to offset them from the rest of the sentence. Whether you like it or not, you have to go. The boy, although he is very bright, failed math. However, when the adverb clause is at the end of a sentence, no comma is needed. She enjoyed the party more than he did. Examples of adverb clauses. Because they act like adverb in a sentence, adverb clauses answer the questions where, where, why and how in a sentence where, when, why and how in a sentence. To see how they work, take a look at the examples below. Adverb clauses of place. These adverbial clauses answer the question where. Wherever there is music, people will dance. You can drop by for a visit where we are staying for the summer. Adverb clauses of time. These adverbial clauses answer the question when. When the clock strikes midnight, she has to leave. Adverb clothes, of course. These adverb clothes answer the question why. She passed the course because she worked hard. Since he has long hair, he wears a ponytail. Adverb clothes of purpose. These adverb clauses are also answer the question why. So that he would not ruin the carpet, he took off his shoes. He ate vegetables in order that he could stay healthy. Adverb clothes of condition. These adverb clothes answer the question how. If you save money, you can buy a new game. Unless you hurry, you will be late for school. Adverb clauses of concession. This adverb clauses answer the question how. For example, even though you are 13, you can't go to that movie. Adverb clauses add rich detail. While adverb clauses are a little more complicated than simple adverbs, they are very useful in adding richer detail to your writing by explaining how and why things happen. When you begin to add subordinating conjunctions and dependent clauses to your writing, you add interest by varying the rhythm of your sentences and layering an important information to create a complete picture for the reader. 
For more practice, you can see examples of adverb clauses to get a sense of the many ways these descriptors can be used to improve your writing. An adverbial clause is a dependent clause that functions as an adverb. That is, the entire clause modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. As with all clauses, it contains a subject and predicate, though the subject as well as the predicate verb may sometimes be omitted and implied. An adverbial clause is fronted by a subordinating conjunction, sometimes called a trigger word. In the examples below, the adverbial clause is italicized and the subordinating conjunction is bolded. According to Sidney Greenbaum and Randolph Quirk, adverbial clauses function mainly as an adjuncts or disjuncts. Which parts also perform in a sentence as adverbial phrases or as adverbial prepositional phrases? Unlike clauses, phrases do not contain a subject and predicate, they are contrasted here. Adverbial. Clothes are divided into several groups according to the actions or sense, senses of their conjunctions. Type of clause, for example, time. And conjunctions answering the question when, such as when, before, after, since, while, as, as long as, till, until. Function. Uh, say when something happens by referring to a period or point of time or to another event. Example. Her goldfish died when she was young. He came after night had fallen. He told us his adventures in Arctic as we went along. So, for example, condition. If unless provided that talk about the possible of a uh, counterfactual situation and its consequences. For example, if they lose weight during an illness, they soon regain it afterwards. Purpose, in order to, so that, in order that, in case, indicate the purpose of an action. They had to take some of his land so they could extend the churchyard. Reason, because since as given, indicate the reason for something. I couldn't feel anger against him because I liked him too much. So, and uh, place, for example, answering the question where, wherever, anywhere, everywhere. Talk about the location or position of something. For example, he said he was happy where he was. Compare reason. As, as, then, as. State comparison of a skill, size, or amount. She is a better cook than I, for example. Manner. Answering the question how, as, like. Talk about someone's behavior or the way something is done. I was never allowed to do things as I wanted to do. He spent a lot of money as if he was very rich. Adverb clothes provide additional information about how something is done. So, for example, Tom helped the student with the homework because he didn't understand the exercise. Because he didn't understand the exercise explains why Tom helped and is an adverb clause. Begin by studying adverb clothes, which are often called time clothes in English grammar, books and follow specific patterns. Punctuation. When an adverb clause begins the sentence, use a comma to separate the two clothes. Example. As soon as he arrives, we will have some lunch. When the adverb clause finishes the sentence, there is no need for a comma. Example. He gave me a call when he arrived in town. Adverb clothes with time. When. He was talking on the phone when I arrived. When means at that moment, at that time. 
Notice the different tenses used in relation to the clause beginning with when. It is important to remember that when takes either the simple past or the present. The dependent clause changes tense in relation to the when clause. Before. We will finish before he arrives. Before means before that moment. It is important to remember that before takes either the simple past or the present. After. We will finish after he comes. After means after that moment. It is important to remember that after takes the present for future event and the past or past perfect for past event. While. She began cooking while I was finishing my homework. While and as are both usually used with the past continuous because the meaning of during that time indicates an action in progress. By the time. By the time he finished I had cooked dinner. By the time expresses the idea that one event has been completed before another. It is important to notice the use of the past perfect for past events and future perfect for future events in the main clause. This is because of the idea of something happening up to another point in time. Until till. We waited until he finished his homework. Until until express up that up to that time. We use either the simple present or simple past with until and till. Till is usually only used in spoken English. Since I have played tennis since I was a young boy. Since means from that time. We use the present perfect continuous with since. Since can also be used with a specific point in time. As soon as he will let us know. As soon as he decides. Or as soon as he has decided. As soon as means when something happens immediately afterward. As soon as is very similar to when it emphasizes that the event will occur immediately after the other. We usually use the simple present for future events, although present perfect, present perfect can also be used. Whenever every time. Whenever he comes we go to have lunch at Dick's. Whenever and every time mean each time something happens. We use the simple present or simple past in the past because whenever and every time express habitual action. The first, second, third, fourth, etc. Next, last time. The first time I went to New York, I was intimidated by the city. The first, second, third, fourth, next, last time means that specific time. We can use these forms to be more specific about which time of a number of times something happens. Now let's talk about adverb clothes showing a position. This type of clothes show an unexpected or non-self-evident result based on the dependent clause. Example, he bought the car even though it was expensive. Take a look at the chart below to study the various usages of adverb clothes showing a position. So punctuation, when an adverb clause begins the sentence, use a comma to separate the two clauses. Example, even though it was expensive, he bought the car. When the adverb clause finishes the sentence, there is no need for a comma. Example, he bought the car even though it was expensive. Even though, also, even it was expensive, he bought the car. Though he loves donuts, he has given them up for his diet. Whereas while, whereas you have lots of time to do your homework, I have very little time indeed. Mary is rich while I am poor. Whereas and while show clothes in direct opposition to each other. Notice that you should always use a comma with whereas and while. Using adverb clothes to express conditions. This type of clothes are often called it clothes, if clothes in English grammar books and follow conditional sentence patterns. Take a look at the chart below to study the various usage of different time expressions. When an adverb clause begins the sentence, use a comma to separate the two clothes. They had to leave early since their train left at 8.30. Since means the same as because. Since tends to be used in more informal spoken English. 
as long as as long you have the time why don't you come for dinner as long as means the same at because as long as tends to be used in more informal spoken english so now adverb clothes with time for example when he was talking on the phone when i arrived when she called he had already eaten lunch i washed the dishes when my daughter fell asleep We'll go to lunch when you come to visit. So when means at that moment, at that time, etc. Notice the different tenses used in relationship to the clause beginning with when. It is important to remember that when takes either the simple past or the present, the dependent clause changing tense in uh, relation to the when clause. So for example... As soon as he will let us know as soon as he decides or as soon as he has decided. As soon as means when something happens immediately afterwards. So uh, questions you have to answer. What are adverb clothes? What types of adverb clothes do you know? What is the function of adverb clothes? And what do you know about punctuation of adverb clothes? And the sources you can use in order to be ready to your practical lessons. So the lesson is over.